I greet you, dear sisters and brothers, in the season of Advent. Today's reflection is based on the following Bible passage. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew 11, 28, 30. One day, on my way home from the church during one of my seminary holidays, I met a religious sister who was working in our parish. As she saw me, she started crying and told me, Brother, please pray for me. I have been diagnosed of cancer. I was shocked and had no words to console her. I stood in front of her for a while, silently sharing her pain and anxiety. The very next day morning, I met her in the church again, and I noticed a change on her face. It had turned to be serene and peaceful, radiating heavenly grace. Astonished at this transformation, I asked her about it. She replied, Brother, I spent the whole night in the chapel in front of the Eucharistic mood, crying and complaining. He has transformed my pain and anxiety into joy and hope. He has strengthened me. I have decided to carry my cross with him. In our lives, we come across many persons who bravely carry their cross with the conviction that they are not alone, but God is with them. I know a mother in my neighboring parish who praised and worshipped God in tears when she lost her dear son in an accident. Her action reminded me of Psalm 18.2 because the Lord is our rock and fortress in whom we take refuge. In both these incidents, I was witnessing Jesus' words from today's gospel coming true. But we can experience this only when we accept the Lord's invitation to entrust our seemingly heavy burdens to Him. Instead of thinking, I must carry my burdens on my own, we should learn to leave them into the loving hands of God. Think about a kindergarten child walking to the kindergarten with its parents. Its school bike is not always light. In such moments, it gets a helping hand from the parents. When we do so in our problems, God, our loving Father, will provide us with the grace to move forward with our burdens and secondly, we feel them becoming light and easy. We will experience his assurance, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Looking into our personal lives, we realize how weak we are in displaying this trust in the Lord in our sufferings and problems. We pray to him to help us in our problems but often forget his role in handling them in the concrete situations. Friends, the Lord invites us today, come to me with your troubles and sufferings. With the psalmist we can sing, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And with Saint Paul we can also proclaim, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Believe that we are not alone. Our God is Emmanuel, God with us. As we read in Revelation 21, 3 to 4, God himself will be with us. He will wipe every tear from our eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. Amen. <laughs>